God is testing your character. When he puts these obstacles in your life, it's how you bounce off 8th of September. So I'm closing my website, getting back to the drawing board, talking to God, see what sales I can bring in because y'all, when I tell y'all I'm about to grind these last three months out, I'm about to grind hard. Okay. Hi Ash Bays, welcome back to my channel. If you're a transcriber, then hey, if not, go ahead and click the subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up because if you're not lashed by I'm saying before you lash by period. Okay, so I have been gone from YouTube for four weeks to be exact. And I'm like, let me record a video, give you guys a love, a life update about everything that's been going on with me. So by the time I this video, you guys already know I'm doing a life update slash like business journey all in one okay so um a couple of things that's been going on so first of all i just want to say that school has started back officially september 9th though the true those who do not know i am a chiropractor school i want to be a chiropractor i am trying to i am going to get my phd in chiropractic studies so that is um, what I'm doing. And I also do lashes. I'm a lash technician located in St. Louis, Missouri. So that's what I have going on. So um, I'm going to be able to balance school and working um, this business. So I also have a job. Yes, I said a job. I know everybody was like, but I thought you quit and everything. Listen, let me tell you. I have an overnight job. I work uh start i'm starting it this week i start september 16th i work on thursdays fridays sundays and mondays and let me tell you guys why because you know i'm very open with my youtube channel i don't like to sugarcoat anything i'm very transparent i am who i say i am on and off the internet i don't have to put up a facade or anything so my um business months I think yeah june july yeah june and july and uh like the beginning of august my business was flourishing it was doing so well let me tell you what i messed up at um i restocked a collection that everybody begged me to restock y'all know i only do collections like my special collections they are um very specific to that month so once they sell out they're gone forever but everybody was like you know Please restock your casino collection. Please, please, please. I'm like, okay, cool. And it's the sales just started dropping. So I'm like, dang, like, you know, like, how can I get my sales, you know, back popping? Like, what I gotta do? So I tried doing different things like TikTok. I tried doing more videos, um, brainstorming and everything. And I'm like, you know what? It's okay. This is my back, this is my downfall right now. This is my little setback. Um, let me pick up a job and just wait until my business starts booming booming consistently which is okay i i it is okay to realize that something is not working out for you and you want to have time to step back to the drawing board you know people get frustrated and they want to just quit and they want to have an attitude really god is testing your character when he puts these obstacles in your life it's how you bounce off of those things i'm not going to sit here and cry about why my business is doing this and why my business is doing that i'm going to find a solution and while i'm finding the solution i'm going to pick up another uh pick up a job that can give me some income until i find out the solution and that's what i'm doing i'm basically rebranding so i'm closing my website september 20th and i'm relaunching it on the 28th of september so I'm closing my website, getting back to the drawing board, talking to God, coming up with different ideas of how to rebrand necessarily like restock on all my lashes. And my lashes are running low anyways. Like my top sellers are running low. A couple of them I have already been sold out for like two weeks now. Um, and I'm just like, look, I'm going to just shut the website down, get my head together, go back to the drawing board, see what I can do differently this time, see what sales I can bring in because y'all, when I tell y'all I'm about to grind these last three months out, I'm about to grind hard, okay? And I'm so excited because all the plans I have for Black Friday and for Christmas and for Thanksgiving and for Halloween, like 
I know it's going to really set the bar and I prayed on it and I know it's going to happen. I know me as a person, I'm very driven. I'm very determined. I'm a hustler. I'm going to make it happen for myself, you know, and it's okay. Like, I'm not sad about it at all. I'm not sad about um that I have to go back to work. I'm not disappointed in myself or anything. It's just something that I have to do. This is all a part of my business journey and I'm going through with it every step of the way it is okay I am doing fine mentally like mentally nothing is wrong with me like I haven't had like a any type, any type of like depressive episodes or any type of like sadness or nothing like usually like back then I ain't gonna lie like last year a lot of stuff used to really hurt my feelings make me mad when it come down to business this year I look at things completely different if I'm having a bad month if I'm having a bad day in business and this is business if I'm having a bad business day, a bad business month, I look at it, I chuck it up, and I think about things that I could do to make the next business day better, to make the next business month better. Like, I don't sit around and wait and just be sad in my feelings about it because at the end of the day, that's not going to get stuff done. It's not going to get nothing changed. Like, your situation is going to stay your situation until you make a change. And I think... A lot of people just sit there sucking their misery, misery, but they don't even understand how important it is for them to really dig deep within their self and find that last breath, find that motivation, and just get to handling your business because nobody's going to do it for you. So, um, yes, I start back working September 16th. I'm actually excited, you know, bringing in a new income and, you know, figuring my life out. Um, so, of course, I'm going to continue to do lashes. I blocked out my schedule. That's why I wanted to work overnight because at the end of the day, I always tell people that same energy that you put into working that day in the fab needs to be the same energy you put into your business. So the job that I work, thank God, is only four hour shifts, which is fine with me. But I did not want to pick days that has me working throughout, throughout the day because I want to focus on being a last technician. At the end of the day, I want to be financially free. Like, I want to be financially free. I don't, I don't want to work no job. I don't want to clock in. So, in order for me to be better as a lash tech and get better at lash, I have to practice. I have to be able to accept clients. If I'm sitting here working a job doing that throughout the day, how am I going to be able to go to school in the morning times and do lashes and work a job? Like, it's just going to be too much. So, I'm like, you know what? Let me pick up an overnight shift. And that's what I'm going to do. And yes, I'm probably going to be tired. No, I do not care. Y'all don't know, like, the old me. Man, the old me, I used to work three jobs and just be, be completely exhausted, but still able to manage and do what I need to do to handle business. And one thing about me, Amber Mercedes, don't handle her business. I always stand 10 toes behind everything that I do. I don't play that. You feel me? So, I'm like, let me make sure my schedule is overnight because I want to be able to get clients in and I want to be able to still work my job and I still want to go to school and find that time to study. That's why I didn't want to pick up too many shifts. I only work four days out the week. They asked me if I wanted to work every day. No, I do not. They asked me if I wanted to work five days. No, I do not. I want to work my four days and that's what I want to do because I want to have time for myself and most importantly for my business. So, um, like I said, it is okay. It is, y'all, it is okay that life or business as you thought it was going to be is not going how you visioned it it's okay like what are you going to do next to get your your vision to become your reality that's that's the that's when the crunch time come in that's where your uh, uh character really gets tested and one thing about me i'm always pass. i'm always pass the test any test god throwing me i'm always passed because one i never stop trusting him two i never stop having faith and three i never stop working hard a lot of people be praying you know that all this abundance of you know wealth coming to their life but they're not putting in the work you have to put in your work you have to meet god halfway he can't he don't just give you everything with no work put in you got to put in the work once he see you meeting him halfway i promise you we're gonna let you ran out like and that's what i plan on doing i plan on meeting him halfway um, like I said, I'm closing my website down. No, my business is not stopping forever. I will never stop last year. I'm saying I'll be doing this until I'm 40. I don't care. Like this business is going to be global very soon. Um, and I'm just going to, you know, uh, get different lashes. Uh, I'm changing. I'm switching gears on TikTok. I make all about a lot of videos about things I go through as a lash, a lash technician. 
this go around like when i restock my business and when i try to showcase my black friday products and my halloween products and my christmas products i'm going to be switching gears more towards me actually doing lashes um creating lashing tips um have more packaging orders i know people my when i first started tiktok my page is full of just packaging orders and then i switched when i went viral and like now my videos consistently hit the thousands my tiktok videos some of the views have been going slow which is fine because some videos still do go viral which is completely fine with me the algorithm is always all over the place but i do want to switch gears on my tiktok because i want to attract more potential clients more potential customers versus other lash business owners which is what i feel like my audience is right now i feel like i have a lot of different lash business owners watching my videos but my target audience is actually people who are into lashes who are into makeup people who wear lashes people that may be located in my city that want their lashes done who are, who are looking for a lash tag um and people who potentially want to shop with me via wholesale or um individual lashes you know stuff like that so i think that shift will be good for me and my video views may uh, start off slow when i switch gears but all you gotta do is have patience because one thing about it i never got tired of doing what i was doing and my business it picked up i don't know why i went by on tiktok so even though i'm shifting gears i'm gonna keep Posting, posting, posting until one of my videos goes viral and hopefully I hit the target audience I'm trying to hit. Um, next, what else I want to talk about? YouTube. So I'm being on YouTube consistently. Let me, let me tell you guys where I have been. So my laptop flash drive ran out of storage. So I thought buying more iCloud storage was gonna do it make me download because i had edited a video y'all it's 40 something minutes but it will not stay to my computer so it won't let me upload on youtube which has been very frustrating and i am going to take my computer to best buy to see what can i do to get the storage um increased i plan on doing that on thursday this upcoming thursday so i can have my video pushed out by sunday and then i will get this video edited and i will push this video out like monday tuesday but I am um, about to start being more consistent on YouTube. So uh, two videos a week is what I'm starting off with. Like I'm trying to increase all type of sources of income. So I want to do Lash by Mercedes. I want to do my mentorship program, um, which I'll talk about a little bit later. I want to do my Lorex Fashion business, which is my business that I will be selling. Lip glosses, no booty handbags things like that um i want to get into the toro business the airbnb business i want to get into um, of course i'm working this job and i feel like i'm missing something oh and youtube so i want to get monetized on youtube so bad y'all and i know i could do it i know i could do it i know once i be consistent then i know i can do it because one thing about me people love my personality naturally i know youtube will fall in love with me all I gotta do is be consistent and just wait on it. I'm not gonna rush it. I'm not gonna get on here and pretend to be somebody that I'm not. Y'all gonna get the same person online, offline, on here, everywhere. You're gonna get the same me. I always keep it very, very, very straightforward. So I definitely plan on getting my mind at least, at least by Christmas. That's my goal. You know, I don't wanna short myself out because who knows, the video can go viral tomorrow and then boom. I got, I'm monetized, but you know, I do just like to set goals because like I always tell y'all, setting goals, it helps you push towards that goal once you have a date attached to it. So I'm gonna say by Christmas, like that'll be a nice Christmas gift to myself. I really wanna um, be monetized on YouTube and start getting income from that. I feel like I have so much knowledge to give business-wise. Uh, it's gonna be about like, hair promo, vlogging, stuff like that. Like I, I always want to do YouTube. Like I've been talking about YouTube for a long time. I want to do what I know I can. So that is pretty much it. My mentorship program has been doing decent actually. Um, I had four people that I've mentored this past month. Their business is doing good. They, they said they learned a lot from me, which is good. You know, I don't want to ever send people off like i wouldn't put confidence in myself if i knew that i couldn't help people and people be wanting my help i didn't even 
think about ever doing no mentorship program. People came to me asking me, do I offer some type of mentorship? And I was like, okay, when I when somebody first told me about it, I, I didn't brush it off, but I just thought about it. But once like my fourth person reached out to me through my email and, and asked me, I said, you know what, I'm finna just do it because clearly people are interested in, you know, investing into themselves and learning from me, which is fine. Um, we can all learn together. I tell people all the time, I'm still learning every single day of my business and i really wished that you know when i was going through this experience that i had like you know like a little mentor but it's okay it's totally fine you know that's why i'm here for to help people and their businesses as well as mine um and then what has been going on school is interesting this trimester but i'm just praying for another successful trimester other than that um Business is always a blessing. Um, it's not like I'm just flat out not getting absolutely no sales. I really am. It's just that I want more for myself and I want more for, for my business. I never want to get comfortable in my business. And I feel like I'm getting a little comfortable. Like, I'm tired of having and uploading the same type of styles. Like, I want different sceneries. I want different, like, like kind of like advertisement videos with my lashes. Like, I'm just resetting everything. I'm really going back to my drawing board. I bought this from Dollar Tree. How, how many times I tell y'all how important having a journal, journal is? It is very important. I write down everything in here. I just started freshly because of this trimester that I that I uh, that I'm in in school. Here's my goals for the next three months. I want to be able to um, complete my goals. I know that I will be able to do it. But yes, I am back working a job and. You know, it's going to be a very, uh, very humbling experience. I'm always, you know, humble about how I move, but I am never too humble to go back to where I used to be to get myself to where I want to be, if that makes sense. If, I, if that flew over your head, then I don't know. But um, trust me, I have no problem working a job. I'm going to be tired because I do have to handle school, doing lashes, going to work, and studying. But I'd rather be tired and aiming towards my end goal than to be sitting around doing nothing and then complaining about why I'm not where I'm supposed to be. And that's the real, that's the real gag right there. So um, I'm always working towards being better. So yeah, that is a life update on me. Like I said, I only been gone for four weeks. It's not like I've been gone for like a bunch of like a bunch of months. So it's not really like a big update, but I did want. To come on here and tell you guys about the big changes that's going on in my life which is me working a job now along with my business to me temporarily shutting my website down just to go back to the drawing board and um i think i have i don't have nothing else oh uh, and then three you know i started back to school september 9th so i'm going to you guys are going to see firsthand how to be a boss how to balance work school and your business all at the same time and youtube because y'all people think like y'all youtube is really a job like for you to sit there come up with content come up with ideas to talk to a camera then it's like the, the longest part of it all is editing editing coming up with cute thumbnails that's gonna get people to click on your video first place like it really is a job like it really is but I, love, I like doing it, you know, other people like say it's a drag, they don't really want to do it, but I, I do love editing and making my videos, but it is a lot, it is kind of time consuming, so um, you're going to see me being able to juggle, juggle it all, like juggle it all, like I said, this journey is going to be very rewarding, I just cannot wait to see, look back on a video like this and see where I am in January of 2022, why i am in june 2022 like i can't wait to look back on these videos like dang i was really talking about working at this place and now i don't i make money in my sleep like i already make money in my sleep but like you know in my sleep sleep like getting more income like you know like youtube and all stuff like airbnb you know like, i cannot wait to see my life fast forward to six months from now shoot fast forward to three months from now like i just cannot wait to look back on these videos and just be so grateful <sighs> it's well needed but that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you for tuning in. Give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, Lash Babes.